Hello everybody, my name is Dorm here, and welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we worked on this new facility that is making glass fiber. So we got everything done, brought in all of our resources, and, you know, got the lime made, got the uh, mixture with the silicon ore going, and, um, yeah. We have glass fiber, which can be used to make fiberglass boards, which is going to be part of our electronics production. And speaking of electronics production, that is going to be the next thing. The, the mass electronics production. Um, and it's going to be used for the mass science and all everything else that we're going to be doing. Uh, because, I mean, we are making electronics, but, you know, this is the small scale facility that we built. This is now the big, large-scale version of that. So, that is what we're going to do. And I have decided that it's going to be done down here. This is where our electronics are going to be. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be a good spot to do it. We may need to fill that little pond or lake there. Um, we'll see. I was trying to think of, there's going to be a few other things we're going to need to do, which we're probably going to, I'm probably going to have to like clear like all of this forest out, probably clear a large chunk of forest out over here. Um, we're, I'm, I'm going to have to kill more nests. I'm just going to have to. Oh boy, that's that's going to be interesting. All right, but that's not what we're worrying about right now. So, let's go ahead and head over in that general area. And that's going to be the foundry. Still will be faster to use the train than to actually walk over there. Alright. So here is where we're going to do our work. Now, I still do need this turnaround. But do I want to... Whoa! That's why we still need to turn around there. Okay. I do not want to get crushed by that train. But what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this um, T into an X. This is all in logistics, right? It's in construction, but not logistics. Okay. All right. And then I am going to put the loop in here. And we're also going to need this to be... Logistics covered. Because yeah, there are reasons why trains need to come down here to turn around, apparently. Alright. So, we'll let our construction bots get to work on that. And then once that's built in, then I can remove this. And then we'll use this as our loading area. But, before we can really start laying out the loading area, we need to figure out what it is we're going to need to bring in here. So we need to start designing out what we're going to need. And so the recipe we're going to start with here 
is going to be basic electronic boards. Now, can I actually make these electronic assembly machines? I can make those electronic assembly machines. That is good. Alright, so we're going to need solder, which we are going to get from... Uh, Let's see, solder from solder coils, so we're going to do that. And we're going to need basic electronic components, which is going to require tinned copper wire and carbon. Oh, we finally finished that lab research speed. Good. Um, tinned copper wire is going to be coming from tinned wire coils. And carbon is going to be coming from coke and carbon dioxide. Okay, so we can bring in carbon, and we're from carbon dioxide. We're going to need to get that probably from coal. Okay. Now, we're going to need a bit more of this, so we're going to need to make sure that our carbon production is scalable. And then hopefully we're going to have surplus coal somewhere that I can bring in. I'll have to see which source of coal I want to use. All right, so we are not doing basic circuit boards as part of this because I'm going to be doing that um, on its own because we will need extra of those more than we're going to need for these. Now, the question becomes, how many of these do we want to make? How many of these can we make? All right, let's compute by factory, let's say one. Let's see, one factory making them, and what are our ratios looking at? And how many do we make? We make four per second. So if I wanted to do 40 per second, I would need like 10 of them, right? Uh, we would need 10 of those, 20 of those, one of those, 20 of them? That's, that's quite a bit. We need one of those, one of those, okay. Eight of those, five of those. That's a lot of facilities for producing carbon. Okay. Nine point four per second of coal. Let's see. We need forty per second of this. Let's see. Do I want to scale it back a little bit? Let's go to twenty per second. And we'll see what that does for us there. That might be a bit more reasonable for the initial build. Again, we want to make sure that everything is scalable so that should we need more, we can always ramp it up. 6.7 per second of these, which we're making no problem. 5 per second of those, no problem. Okay, so... For basic circuit boards, we probably are going to want to do 40 per second. So let's go ahead and do a recipe for that. Basic circuit boards. Uh, let's go with 40 per second. Actually, let's go with 30 per second. 10 per second on top of what we're actually going to need. We're going to need copper cable from copper coils. 22.5 per second of copper wire coils. I don't know how many we actually make. I don't remember what the numbers were on that. All right, this should be okay. All right, so we need wooden boards, which require wood. We can make wood. We 
can make wood from raw wood. But I'm actually not going to do that. We're going to make wood from naphtha. We're going to make synthetic wood. And we're going to use chemical plant mark threes. Okay. So inputs we're going to need. We're going to need naphtha. And we're going to need copper wire coils. Naphtha, copper wire coils. We're going to need solder coils. We're going to need tinned wire coils. We're going to need coke. And we're going to need coal. So how many loading bases is that? Okay, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six loading bays for just these electronics. All right. Good. And because these are inputs, where we're going to have probably only a single train bringing inputs to each of these, the input bays can be single bays. All right, let's let's just pin this up for now. That's what we're going to work on first. But you know, we need to get the uh, loading. Uh, T. We're just going to kind of let that sit for a little bit because our research is probably all depleted at this point. Uh, no, no, we got some stuff. Uh, anything interesting? Uh, let's see. Breaking force, steam power four, nitinol plates, tungsten pipe. Yeah, I guess we can grab that just in case we do need to uh, increase our output. All right, so we're not going to need parking because each train is going to have their own dedicated loading area. So. Let's see, In, incoming trains are going to be coming down here and be coming through here. So we're going to make sure the in is here and out is there. All right. Well, that was quick. You could do some military research, but I'm not that worried about that right now. Heat shielding, don't need it. Low density structure. Don't need it. Could use mining productivity, but that's pretty pretty big here. All right. Okay, sorry about the jump there. Had to go take care of something uh, real quick. All right. So back to what we're doing. I accidentally fired off my flamethrower there. Okay, so we were setting up um, loading areas here. So, what I want to do is make sure we get these in the right spot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hook that that way. So that's how far east they need to be. All right, so we can drop that in. There we are. Okay. Now I think we're going to use the same loading or 
unloading method that we've been using for like uh, for these. All right, so how many spaces minimum do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I don't necessarily have to come out from the side. Okay, so it needs six minimum. Two, four, six. Okay. Now we need naphtha. Now is that the same? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's exactly the same. All right, good. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And get that guy in. So now that's where we're going to be wanting to build things. So what I might do is just kind of compromise here a little bit. Not get the best coverage, but put it somewhere where it's going to work. I think the first things that I want to bring in here are actually going to be the coal. So let me switch over to this. Um, the coal and the coke to make the carbon die uh, to make the carbon because we're gonna need that for multiple processes and I wanna have that in place and manufacturing sooner rather than later. Okay, so this is going to be Do I have anything called electronics yet? No, I do not. This is gonna be electronics. Uh, let's see, coal. Delivery. This is going to be Coke. Coke delivery. There we are. And so I want to use these guys. Oh. I got to redo that a little bit. Yes, I know. We need one of these. Trash it. Okay, let's make a new blueprint that actually has those inserters in there correctly. Let 
There we go. Okay. Alright, so, two locomotives. I already have two cargo wagons, so I just need two more. Alright, so you are what? This is going to be four. Coal. Oh, we got to hook this up. Okay, good. Now it should work. So, let's see. Where are you going to be getting your coal? There's coal down here, but... Uh... Alright, you have lots of coal there. How many are actually using this? Just the one. But there's no real place here for stacking, so if the train parks here, it's going to block the whole line. I have three trains coming here. And again, no real room for stacking, so that's not ideal. See, ideal would be this. But there are problems with that. I'm guessing that we're probably going to want to use this mine for the time being. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, let me um, let me modify. Let me modify this train. Where, where, where is it? There it is. Because I think that you have five seconds of inact inactivity. Delete that. So just stay there till you're empty. And hopefully that'll work. Okay, so then you do a refueling station, uh, stay there till you have five seconds of inactivity, then go grab No, not one of these. Go grab. Power generator, no, what's this thing called? Generator fuel mine. We will move it to the other coal mine at some point once we're able to get that up and running. All right, generator fuel mine, inventory full, and then bring it over here to electronics. Cold delivery inventory empty. Go. All right. And then for you. Uh, Coke pickup. Which we should have plenty of Coke in there. All right.
refueling station and activity and then refinery coke pickup inventory full and then electronics coke delivery inventory empty go perfect all right so We could use this. I have. There's enough forest around it that I could use that. I had to build a train line over there. That wouldn't be too hard. Okay, that might be something that I do off screen. Um, is get that coal mine up and running because I think it's going to be. Too valuable not to use. Alright, so what do we need? We need three... We need seven liquefiers. Seven liquefiers. One, five, six, seven. Alright, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say... Okay. So this has got to get cleared, I think. There you go. Construction bots made short work of that. Still have stuff to do. So first things first, coal is going to be coming in. delivery All right, let's make sure we're covered by a substation and that you guys are going to make carbon dioxide I picked it up as soon as it dropped. Okay. Alright, 
Okay, so I'm gonna drop there, and then you guys are making carbon, right? Carbon, yes. Carbon. There we are. Okay. And then we just need to bring the carbon in this direction. Near side of the belt, near side of the belt. There we go. And then we're going to run the carbon store to a silo. There. Okay, there we go. There's our carbon. And this is expandable for as much as we need. So good. Alright, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch back over to this. And we're going to start working on this. So we're going to need... We're going to need a loading area to bring in the copper... Cables. And then we're going to need a loading area for naphtha. Which, let me go ahead and blueprint this. This is going to be a copper wire coil. And then this is going to be naphtha. Okay. But I think we're at the end of the episode, so we're going to go ahead and end it here. And then we'll continue our work on this when we get back and we'll get these electronics done or we'll, but probably it's gonna take us a little while to uh, get this electronics facility fully built out because there's a lot of stuff we're gonna have to do in here but the first stages we should hopefully be able to get largely done all right so we'll work on that next time so I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching go ahead like subscribe and comment and I will see you next time